Hey, what's up you guys? It's Dorothy and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to go into chapter 112 of The Murder House by James Patterson and David Ellis. So let's get right into this video. This video may contain sensitive topics and foul language. If you do not wish to continue, I suggest you click off the video now. You have been warned. Chapter 112. I point the gun inside the room, my pulse pounding against my temples, the smell of bleach and burning oil, a square windowless room. A single kerosene lamp on one side causing flickering orange light about. Next to the lamp, a sleeping bag unfolded, but nobody's inside it. Nobody is in this room, period. No chairs or furniture or anything except except something near the back. A spear protruding from the floor. A long, narrow missile with a sharp top. No, I say no. Hot tears burning my vision, running down my cheeks into my mouth. I step into the room, my words echoing between my ears, the walls moving and the room spinning, the cries, the horrific ghoulish screams from all directions filling my head, my legs unsteady as I move forward, as I move toward the other end of the square room because somehow I know some internal compass is directing me, some force is moving me toward a door at the other end of the room, a door I can't see but that I know somehow I know is there. Everything's slowing down like I'm moving through quicksand, but I must reach the door. I have to reach it for some reason, but my legs are suddenly numb. Up is down, down is up. The floor is suddenly rising up to meet my face with a violent smack sending shock waves through my skull, jarring the roots of my teeth. The revolver bounces out of my hand on impact with the floor. Everything fuzz and fog, but I can't let go now, can't let go now. The flashlight underneath me. I fell on it, but the gun, I need the gun. My head lifting off the floor, searing pain over my right eye, nausea rising to the surface. I'm woozy and disoriented, patting the floor around me, forcing myself to my knees, lights flickering in and out from the glow of the kerosene lamp, the gash over my eye, making me pay a severe price every time I whip my head from one side to the other, but I need the gun. Words screaming at me, but I can't make them out so loud that I can't hear them echoing through my head with such force that I can't understand them. What is he saying? What is he? Come with me footsteps coming from the other side of the room near the door i can't see footsteps coming come with me come with me the gun i need the gun where is the gun the click of a doorknob the groan of the door opening and aiden willis walks in that is the end of this chapter i will see you guys in the next video bye